have African background. Yeah. When they're playing for Manchester United or they're playing for uh, Paris Saint Germain or Chelsea or whatever, do those people think they're like, oh, that's an African? No, they they say that's a Chelsea mm. player. Chelsea mm. player. Exactly. Me as a Chelsea fan. Me, I know me, my colors and are white and thank blue. You, thank you for that. Thank you for that. Let me yes. cut it short uh, a bit. Like, you know, even what you have talked is a uh, big sense also to me and to my romance, like uh, YouTubers. Yes. You know, don't see someone as your enemy. Exactly. See him as a fellow YouTuber. Yes. Yeah, don't uh, like talk bad about him, like these guys, like this. It's what you brought up, like uh, it's exactly. like a team. Yeah, because it's a team. Yeah. No, at like, the, look, in a team, everyone brings something different. No yeah. one, not everyone can be an attacker, not everyone yeah. can be a goalkeeper. Yeah. But exactly. at the end of the day, the whole team become strong strong yeah. and and that's the problem as you said uh, with a lot of these youtubers is there's a lot of i don't know if it's envy or i don't know what it is mm-hmm. you, you're not something you're not supporting each other mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you have to support each other because look you never know youtube okay and, and i know my facts might be wrong mm-hmm. and when i say wrong that means i'm wrong by i'm actually lower but i know in a day over two billion people tune, tune in. into YouTube. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Two billion people yeah. per day. Mm-hmm. I'm not talking about per year, per day. If people here got together and... What's up guys? Um, welcome back to Maja underscore KE uh, YouTube channel guys. If you're new here, can you consider subscribing, sharing, Tell a neighbor to tell another neighbor to subscribe to Maj underscore KE and the people who are very positive and doing great work, guys. So today being a very beautiful day on Sunday afternoon or evening, guys. I don't know. So uh, anyway, guys, um, coming live. I don't know if it's live, but I'm coming live from Village Grandpa's residence, of course. Yeah, we are here and I'm um, so privileged to have her. Uh, visitors not uh, some of them are not uh, actually they are not visitors they have been here uh for for long they have been here for long we have been here we have been sharing a lot of course uh others you know them um my brothers big brothers we have a big story that is uh docu series and we have uh, a guest that we are going to show you today guys she will be telling us a lot about um the journey and everything and we have of course our beautiful maria here maria say hi hello guys my youtube is maja ke and village grandpa and grandma and make me an auntie and auntie Auntie, Auntie, she's cool. Auntie, she's cool. <laughs> she's forgotten my name. Yes. Auntie T. Auntie T. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. So, guys, uh, we are here. We just my have name a... is Maria underscore K. Instagram. Uh, yes. You just interrupted me. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> uh, high five. Good girl. Yeah. So, guys, we are here. We are going to have a conversation. We are going to talk about life, about how um, you know. It's long since I met uh, uh, guys. <laughs> T. It's long since you met T. Yeah, it's very. <laughs> Hi, long. hello. Hi, guys. Welcome to Maja's channel. This is African Tea Travels. Um, I know most of you know me as African Village Cook, but mm. I changed my channel to African Village Activities. Uh, just to make to generalize what I'm doing I'll, and then I also have a traveling channel that was created a few months ago. So yeah Welcome Yeah. So guys that is African tea. Uh, she has been now traveling a lot, you know uh, I think uh, She has been uh, in the village for the past few, few years or No, the months. last one year uh, since last year, yeah. Since yeah. last year, yeah. So the the behind months, we were like together, oh, and then recently I saw, mm-hmm. uh, uh, two travelers, 
<laughs> out in South Africa, out in yeah. So it has been long, even since we have uh, done a video, me and you. Yeah, but we used to do a video. She used to cook for us here at home, and my mom was like, hey, "This girl, she's she knows how to cook." Of yeah. course. Yeah. So uh, today she came to visit. Are you not feeling cold? No, I'm not. Oh, you're good. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, she's not cold. Yes, no, I'm coming to you. You, you know, know she's you. hot, right? <laughs> so she cannot feel cold. Yeah. yeah. So, guys, of course, we have here Leo. Uh, this is. Uh, What's popping, dudes? Yeah. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is Leo. Uh, we have a docu series with him. Of course, you know the series that we have. But uh, fast, fast. We are going to uh, tea travel. Yeah. So, how have you been? I'm grateful to God I've been okay. Mm -hmm. Life has been, you know, good. Mm -hmm. Up and down though, but like we appreciate what we, we have. We appreciate the oxygen we are having, the good health and everything. So, all in all, I think I've been very blessed. Mm -hmm. So, I'm doing, I'm doing great. I thank God. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, you know, uh, for me, uh, traveling is very hard. I really have a little bit of experience because uh, for me, I've only gone, I think, to Uganda and some places mm -hmm. like uh, sleeping place, uh, traveling, hectic, like mm -hmm. I don't know anyone mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to go to town. Like, how was it for you? <laughs> because I've seen you in... Uh, I've gone to many places. So mm -hmm. I started my traveling in Tanzania. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was just visiting Tanzania for like, uh, I think, two weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, and when I go to Tanzania, I don't just ask, ask the immigration to give me two weeks. I ask for a month, you know, just in case, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So when I got to two weeks ended, I mean, two weeks ended, I needed more days. So I extended my stay to a month. Then it was only three days remaining and uh, my, my stay was going to expire. So I just decided, ah, oh, I see people going to Zambia. Let me, let me just take Sorry. a bus to, mm. to Zambia because why not? <laughs> Is it expensive like going to Zambia from Tanzania? So it's not expensive. The amount I was charged was 150 thousand tanzanian shillings i think that is um i wish i wish i checked that earlier around six six thousand six around six thousand kenyan shillings mm -hmm. in dollars i think that is around 40 mm -hmm. 45 dollars yeah. but i was overcharged it can be less you know because it I, can I, be maybe four thousand five hundred it should be one thousand one hundred and twenty thousand tanzanian shillings I was just overcharged because of the brokers. You know, Tanzanian bus station is very big. So you go there, you say, I need this bus. Then they go there and say, yeah, 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 we have an office. But most of them are brokers. So they, they want their 30,000 on top. But the correct amount, I think, should be 100,000 Tanzanian or 120. Then I arrived in Zambia and yeah, Zambia was just like Kenya. And I'm like, we are, this is Africa. It's just the same thing. Let me try Zimbabwe. <laughs> you went to Zimbabwe. I went to Zimbabwe, oh, oh. Zambia to Zimbabwe. Lusaka to Harare is twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. They take US dollars, not kwacha, not Zimbabwean currency. Mm -hmm. In US dollars, and uh, it's twenty dollars to Harare. Mm -hmm. uh, then in, in Harare, I realized that they use US dollars and it's very expensive mm -hmm. for somebody who is coming from East Africa. US dollars will be expensive for me. So I stayed there for two nights. Then I went to, you know, the moment you arrive in Harare, there's no way you're coming back without seeing South Africa because mm -hmm. it's now very close. Very I feel close, like yeah. now this is very close. So I booked a vehicle, a bus from Harare to Gaboron, Botswana. It's $50. So I think the lower you go, the southern you go, mm -hmm. the more expensive things are changing. Mm. Uh, the prices are changing because you find that Botswana is one of the richest countries in Africa. It has to be expensive in a way. But now, the Zimbabwe dollars made me stronger for Botswana and South Africa. So Botswana I arrived, I was very sick. And uh, that's the, the flu because it's very cold down there. It's cold. It's not like the weather we have here. Then I was there for like five days in the hotel. I was just moving around. I didn't move much in, but in Gaboron. 
Then uh, I checked the map. Johannesburg was just six to four hours away. Mm-hmm. Then I booked a bus. From so Gabu. it was not uh, flying, it was just no, the bus. No, you cannot experience Africa by flying. Oh, okay. Absolutely not. You're not going to see anything. You'll mm. just be like, shoo. Mm. Then what? The airports and what? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah so. Sure. And also, I wished there were more trains in Africa mm-hmm. so that you can experience Africa by trains, uh, buses, especially the uh, speed trains or electric electric trains. Not we don't even need electric trains. We just need the the normal SGR. Mm. You know, when because electric will will go faster, and you know, you'll miss a lot. Me, I feel like. Uh, like the one we have in Kenya yeah. from mm. Nairobi to Mombasa you experience it's yeah. just okay if we had those ones in Africa I think from country to country it would have been very nice mm. and easier because many people fear buses mm. yeah and sorry before you you continue uh, traveling in Africa like alone I, I heard that you were saying maybe you're scared you don't know people I think Africans when they hear you know each country they have a different accent so when I'm in Tanzania and they speak English, mm-hmm. of course a Tanzanian will know that this is not a Tanzanian. So yeah, they yeah. want to know more about you. Mm-hmm. Some will take advantage, maybe they want to overcharge you. Mm-hmm. Some just want to know what's going on in your country. So it's happening uh, in every country as you go. Zimbabweans will know you're not from Zimbabwe. Mm-hmm. Zambian will know. Yeah, sure. And Botswana will know because even our features now are changing. Mm-hmm. East African features are different from South African features. Yeah. Yeah. So. And, and exactly from that, even in Kenya, mm-hmm. when you go to maybe uh, we are Koreans, mm-hmm. when you go to uh, maybe Luya, yeah. they will know they you are know. not a Luya. They know you are not a Luya. When you go to Luos, they will know you are not a Luya. Mm-hmm. So it's a. Uh, yeah, it's something we, that's happening. Mm, yeah. It's happening. Yeah. yeah. So, guys, uh, let's go back. Uh, we are coming back to you. Yeah. Let's go back to Leo. Leo, uh, you have been in states uh, for how long? Ago? Uh, like too many years. I probably say. Uh, I probably say about eighteen to nineteen years. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I think we have talked about that. He has been there uh, 19 years. Yeah, probably 19 years. And uh, what was the biggest challenge in the US that you got as an African from uh, Kenya? Uh, I would probably say, uh, I mean, the biggest uh, challenge obviously is, you know, uh, culturally mm. here in Africa or in Kenya, okay, let me, let me be in particular here in Kenya, mm-hmm. you know, people are a bit more, let me say friendly. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, you, you can go a- anywhere and people will always, you know, talk. But in, in the U.S., people normally just want to, they, they, they don't, if they don't really know you, they're not really going to want to interact with you until they re- until they maybe they've, they've known you, they've seen you for a few times or even 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 neighbors you can you can you can be staying somewhere and uh, you have neighbors mm-hmm. and you may not talk to your neighbors for probably even a year uh, oh. because i mean because they, they don't know you and it has nothing to do with the fact that i was from africa or it's just that uh, how the culture is even if I was uh, someone from the U.S. but from a different place, mm. and you go somewhere they don't know you, most of the times you know there's a little bit of I would say suspicion or just apprehension. Mm. And then once they, they they're comfortable with you, then I mean it's a wonderful place. The people are extremely friendly. Um, I experience a lot of things there that even in Kenya I would never experience, and uh, I feel that I, I was blessed to have got that opportunity to be there, to meet uh, these people. I, I, like, I really, really understand the American person. Yeah. Because a lot of, my, obviously, most of my friends were, when I was there were Americans. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have some friends who even used to take me hunting. You know, we'd go, there's a hunting season, so we'd go uh, hunting. Hunting for what? Uh, for deer. Mm-hmm. Uh, deer, there's a... There's a time that it's called hunting season, but the season basically is uh, 
let's say the state or let's say the government, so they know there's uh, the population of the days that has become too much. So they let people go hunting in order to cut that population down. Mm. And so uh, go hunting, you know, and it was fishing. Yeah, well, fishing, uh, fishing was was fantastic too. I mean, I don't know how to fish. Mm. I mean, we used to go. I couldn't even control the rods, but uh, uh, I used to go to, with these guys for fishing, mm. and it was uh, they used to do what is called uh, catch and release. Mm. Ah, I so you, yeah, you go fishing, then you catch the fish. Can you? You say woohoo, I caught a fish, I but you have to put it back. In oh the my god, I see that a lot, and I was like, yeah. Why are you guys taking back the fish in the food inside? Uh, because because that's the law. There are certain places that you, uh, you, you can go fishing, mm. so it becomes like a sport, like a recreational uh, something that you do recreationally. Mm. You go, you go, you can go, you catch fish. You can catch, but then you, you put you it back in the water. Back, yeah. Yeah. And if you were caught with the fish, because mm -hmm. there are people always, obviously, we all love fish. Yeah. So sometimes people are like, you know, I'm going to take the fish. Mm -hmm. If they catch with the fish, <coughs> excuse me, it's a huge fine, huge, huge fine that's not even worth it. Mm -hmm. No, there's other areas you can go fishing. And whatever you catch is yours. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying where where my friends took me it was uh, this it's just for catch, maybe for fun. Or yeah, it was just catch. Or they give you a certain mm -hmm. number of maybe three or four. Mm -hmm. Nope. Where I was going, it was just catch and ah, release. Maybe that one but is a Canadian rule because I watch yeah, a lot of. Yeah. Those videos. So we used to do a lot of things like that. Huh? It was nice. I mean, it, you know. Um, a lot of people, uh, you know, they really want to go, like, just like you to travel, and, mm -hmm. and I, I absolutely encourage everyone. You have to travel in order to really see, not just how Africa is or how, or just, but to see how the world is, how different people are. I'm not saying that everywhere you go is going to be nice, mm -hmm. but at least you've got, you've experienced, you've experienced, and you've seen. Okay, mm -hmm. this is how they are. Yeah, this yeah, is the yeah, culture here. True. Uh, so I really, and one of the things that I do take offense with a, with a lot of people is they they have not really expanded the horizon. So they still have some antiquated uh, ideas or behaviors. When I say antiquated, I mean like they they, they, they they believe like some things. That's how it should be, not realizing that the world has changed. Mm -hmm. You know. But it's mm -hmm. nice, it's nice, and I'm proud of you, I'm proud that I haven't been to, I have friends in Zambia, I've never been there, they mm -hmm. invited me to go there, obviously Tanzania, I've been there, I have uh, friends in uh, South Africa, in, in Cape Town, mm -hmm. in Johannesburg, uh, which I'm, I'm, so, I'm supposed to go this year, I haven't gone, I haven't gone yet, but they're waiting for them, you know, I've been invited there. Now you told me Botswana is nice, so I need to go check Botswana. Mm -hmm. But I want to go Botswana to Swaziland. Very Swaziland. Nice. Yeah. yeah, I want to go to Swaziland. And yeah, uh, yeah Swaziland. We really need to plan, maybe we can travel. Uh, yes. Yeah. It's easier yeah, to travel, travel. As, actually as a group than yeah, being yeah. alone. Yeah, being, uh, mm -hmm. being alone. You know, when you, you are in a group, you can at least share mm -hmm. post. You know, and with somebody who has experienced it like me, mm. I think now it will be easier mm. for you. Because I know the hotel in Zambia, I yeah, know the hotel exactly. in Zimbabwe, I know. Yeah. Yeah, so, but it's I don't think I want to go back to the south. <laughs> hey, <laughs> there's there's other places show. like Asia is waiting, Asia. West Africa is waiting. You should you know? go to, but the Asia is very nice. I've been to Asia, I've been to uh, Malaysia, mm -hmm. I've been to Indonesia. With American passport or with no, African passport? No, no. So uh, I went with my Italian passport, I didn't use my American passport. Uh, Malaysia was absolutely amazing. Uh, uh, I went to Indonesia, I went to, a, it's a vacation spot, it's called Bali. I know Bali. Trust me, people think they have fun here in Kenya. <laughs> Zero fun. There, no, Kenyans, that, we that, have fun a lot. No, we have fun, but what we think is fun mm. is nothing to, to compare. Not, not 
I don't like Nairobi, the coastal a, side. I live in Nairobi. I live in Nairobi. <laughs> I've been to Mombasa. Uh, People have fun. But I'm telling you, if you go to some of these places in Asia, Bali, look, Mali, if you go to like uh, Thailand, okay, I haven't been to Thailand, but I have a lot of friends who go to Thailand. Mm. You go to Bangkok. Yeah, I really love I'm telling uh, you, the, Thailand. The, 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 the fun, the, 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 I'm just telling you, we call it Shere. Mm. It's just completely unbelievable. <laughs> huh? And then it's, it's cheap. And then it's you see cheap. It's online, yeah. yeah. And that's the, and that's the biggest thing. Mm. It's actually it's it's cheap. When I say cheap, I mean it's very affordable. Mm. Huh? As you said, like as the more you went down south, mm-hmm. the more expensive it got. Yeah. Go to Asia and you you'll see that everything just becomes Easy. completely affordable. Mm. Uh, but, but those countries have developed to that point where now everything is just affordable. The ba- what you, what they consider basic mm. for us is more like a luxury, mm. but it's basic, very nice. Well, mm. oh, so guys, you can hear the uh, stories. Yeah, you know we are village boys here. We are just going to <laughs> simple places here in Yabuansi. So guys. I really believe you are loving the stories here that you are making. You know, we really want to learn and educate others on how maybe you can travel to uh, certain places. You know, maybe there are places they are cheap, places that they, that they are uh, expensive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we are learning expensive about that. relative. You know, when I'm I'm complaining of forty dollars hotel, somebody is paying two hundred per night. You know. So. <laughs> So 40 is expensive for me. Because hey. if I do my calculations in Kenyan shillings, then mm-hmm. somebody pays like 20, to, I mean 200 per night, you know, mm-hmm. so. 200 per it's, night. It's, it's relative, you know. Some some people see 40 as nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, let's go back to tea travel. Yeah. Um, like, what do you see in that change of where you, were, you had a channel of uh, cooking? Mm-hmm. And uh, now you have a channel of traveling. What is mm, maybe the difference of mm-hmm. the two channels? The two channels yes. Of course, uh, cooking village videos are not expensive. I can use 200 shillings mm. to do a whole yeah, video. Village, yes. But traveling, it's different because now you want to travel to another country. Like in Zimbabwe, I used $200 in 24 hours and I almost went crazy. Mm. <laughs> I almost, I almost took a bus back to Kenya, but I was like, I have to reach Cape Town, you know. So, a uh, traveling channel is more expensive uh, compared to the village channel, but I think they're just similar. Sometimes the money on the village channel is more than the money on the traveling channel because they earn from both sides. And um, for the traveling channel, you know, it's it's a whole career in itself. If I think of it, more of like not now, but in the future, you, I, I can spend a lot of money now building the channel. Mm-hmm. But what will it do for yeah. me in yeah, the in next the future, three years? Yeah. I can yeah, open exactly. a traveling agency. Mm-hmm. I can collect people like you and take them to Swaziland mm-hmm. at a fee. <laughs> so but even cooking, you can collect uh, people like us, like the teachers. So of you prefer home. cooking okay. more than no, no, no. yeah. But your food was so good. What I wanted to say, <laughs> is, what I wanted to say is uh, okay. The cooking channel is great. The travel channel is really great. Maybe you can see a way to combine the two. So, like as you're traveling, mm. you also you show different cuisines from, the from different, different countries mm. or different areas. Yeah. And you know, I mean, I think we, we, we would love that. Yeah. You know? That was the plan. That was the plan. That was actually the plan. But the problem is sometimes you, you arrive in a country, let's say like Botswana. And you're just starting to know people. You know, you're there alone. You don't know anything. Mm-hmm. So with traveling, it's easier just go to the city and you know show like this is this is that this is this this is the food. Mm-hmm. But then for me to go and cook somewhere, I need deeper connection in this country. That's what I thought. You find that uh, I don't know if you can hear. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, so you find that. Uh, Sometimes you have a limited time, very limited time in a country. But it's something that I still wish to do because even visiting the the tribes, the cultural tribes, each country like Kenya we have Maasai, Tanzania we have the Hadzabe, the all these tribes, Botswana. You know, for you to go there, you need more time and you know. 
Yeah, yeah so it's something that a week or something or two a week or two weeks. So it's something that I'm still considering. So even though I'm not a chef, but I can cook. <laughs> yeah, but, you yeah. can cook very well. Not even only cooking. You can cook that is very like well. you miss my food. Yeah, I really miss. Even my mom tells me. Village cook very simple because I a food shop. Yeah, so and uh, what are the challenges that maybe you faced when uh, maybe traveling to uh, those countries that you went to? The challenges mm. and the, um, uh, not only the challenges, but what also would be not, not eh? English is not even <laughs> like challenges and. And the good things that the we, good things, yeah. advantages maybe and disadvantages. Ah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So for me I did I didn't have any challenge. Oh. No, every people ask me like what are the challenges I faced. I didn't feel uh, I did I felt like um, you know when you're traveling you have to prepare yourself. And uh, oh, so you prepare the yourself. Only, there's only one thing that is a challenge for travelers. Getting into another country, maybe you don't have the SIM card. You don't have connection yeah, exactly. and you don't have, uh, you don't know where the hotel is, all those things, right? But for me, I think when I prepared myself, I was communicating a lot with people. So when I'm leaving Zambia to Zimbabwe, I've already prepared myself to talk to the person next to me. So I'll make, I'll oh, make them, yeah, I'll make them, you know, feel warm friendly to them. So by the time I'm arriving on the other side, I've asked a few questions. And when I get there, if they are arriving with me at the same destination, of course I'll ask, do you know any hotel here? Or can you show me a place like this, like that? Can you help me with your phone to connect, this and that? So I didn't have any challenge at all, honestly. I didn't have any challenge. Even in Johannesburg, I mean, people say Johannesburg is dangerous, but for me, I just, I was just like, going, walking on the streets, you know? I think I recorded a few videos on the streets and some people were you so worried. No, mm, yeah, you for had me. no problem. Yeah, people were so we worried. Have, we have, uh, I think, Atrin Boke in Johannesburg, I think she's mm. there. Yeah. And she's telling me she's afraid to uh, do videos. Yeah. Advise her here, please. I think, uh, sometimes when you listen to people, it gets to you, now you get afraid. But honestly, of course, you have to be careful in any city. Like yeah. in Nairobi, you cannot just carry your camera carelessly. You have to be careful. Very but careful. there's the, the, the type of unsafety that we are told here in East Africa about Johannesburg. When you think of Johannesburg, you think of big thugs or, mm. you know, the guns and everything. Mm -hmm. So I just didn't put that much into my head. You just, I just you just went for work I just and uh, you walk, just want to do remove my camera when I feel like it's okay to remove it, put it back when I feel like it's not okay to remove it, mm. and you just walk because you know. Yeah, exactly. Uh, even me, there's a day I, I went to Kisumu, and we went with a friend I don't want to say. Mm. We went with him. Then I was doing a video. We passed like somewhere mm. that people were like. Ah. Yeah. Don't record us. So my yeah. friend was telling me like, don't record. Mm -hmm. Switch the camera off. Mm -hmm. I told him, ah no, yeah. we will not switch off. <laughs> Let's just go on. Yeah. Let's Kisumu just go on. is so, another planet on its own. Yeah, so <laughs> we just went, 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 and the people were saying, don't record me. Yeah. Like, wait, wait, don't. Yeah, so, those, those things, yeah. they happen around the stage area. Yeah, stage area. Yeah. And that area was, uh, uh, I think it was a garage place. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. yeah, so near, I think I yeah. can behind there. Mm. So you we were just walking for like, ah, you don't record. So someone at least recognized me, like, ah, Maja, Maja, how are you? So people were like yelling, and they had that guy calling me Maja, Maja. They were like, oh, mm. you know this guy? And that guy was also a mechanic, and yeah. he was also known there. So, yeah. was so sometimes them, I think you just. Yeah get the courage you know this, these mm. people they want to bully you they want to yeah. make you feel less you can be scared but just you know yeah power, be power on be strong mm. and make them feel less instead of yeah. you feeling, feeling less, less you know? exactly, yeah. exactly so we are going back to our brother here guys uh, amazing stories here i hope you enjoy till the end
grab your seat guys and watch this video till the end because we have uh, great stories that um, educate and uh, also you know I'm a positive guy and who always wants to uh, uh, deliver message and uh, always wants uh, positivity in any way yeah so guys and also remember that we are planning for a greet and meet uh, that we will be communicating very soon so that we can meet and greet uh being positive being negative you are invited so we will communicate the date and uh, the venue you guys come let's talk let's uh yeah it's been long yes <laughs> it's been long it's been long yeah so we have to get together communicate talk to know what is uh, huh? Going on. going on and everything what can we do to change this and yeah. this if somebody yeah. kicks me in, on yeah. the road will, <laughs> yes. will Maja be able to save me or yeah, leave exactly. me there yes. <laughs> because I'm you'll definitely save me exactly. <laughs> Yeah, for me, yeah. definitely, you know. Of course, but now, yeah. like, but we have, yeah, the other. I yeah. know what you are yeah. trying to put out here. Yeah. Yeah. So, guys, um, uh, we will be airing it on uh, very soon, so that uh, you guys can come. We discuss, we talk, we get to know how we can uh, uplift each other. You know, like even this conversation, I really believe it will uplift someone mm -hmm. in some level like uh you know yeah. like maybe Atrin will watch this video you know i just said that Atrin is doing well she's yeah, there like exactly. there's somebody who is in kenya who might want to go but they are very scared yeah, exactly. of even crossing to tanzania so mm -hmm. i think the best thing is just go yeah africans exactly. love each other me for me i'm just scared of crossing africa mm -hmm. but he said like you know just yeah. go yeah just go. And, so, so yeah so guys what we want we are going back to uh leo uh, my big brother uh maybe we ask you um oh you said the challenges the challenges that you got in uh, uh usa yeah as i said i mean the, those challenges are just they're, yeah they're just brief you know what i mean yeah it's like if you go anywhere you know you're a new person there obviously before you know you have to get uh, acclimatized you have to also get comfortable get to know okay the people here how are they you know uh, and then eventually you know okay this is how they are but uh, it, this is just a short period of time once people know you I man it's just like being back at home yeah, you know? yeah exactly. it's just be, it's like being at home yeah exactly okay uh, we, uh he just talked about that and uh, okay the advantages of uh, being there and uh, yeah and the good things that you you can tell us about there and I mean um, convince us mm -hmm. or convince I'm, you guys why yes. for me I'm, yes, I'm why scared of yes. uh, cuz what of what we see on online so yeah. I want to know the okay. advantage what do you see online tell what me what we see online of course there's a lot of gun violence there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of gun racism violence. sorry mm -hmm. to say uh -huh. And uh, it's something I even experienced in Cape Town, like the yes. one you were saying, people are not happy. There's something yes. in people's faces that, mm -hmm. you know, you just want to stay alone and don't, don't interact with people. So convince us what, apart from having good money, like if, if you, you can go have to... have money, you still won't help you there. <laughs> the you currency I mean? is big in America. No, so. the currency is big, but I'm saying you can still have money. You might have money. Mm. You know? I mean, okay, you can go there and make money. Mm. But you might you, you might still not be happy. Mm. Uh, you know, money is not, uh, is not everything. You know, what matters is... Uh, the the relationships that you make with people that's the the thing that matters mm -hmm. is there racism definitely yeah. is there tribalism in kenya oh yeah yeah okay is. so uh, then, uh, you've already exper experienced some sort of racism mm -hmm. uh, look if someone doesn't like you because of let's say your skin the, 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 your, the sk your skin color right mm. That kind of person, that person, that, that, that means that person is not really worth worthwhile to be a part of your life. Mm -hmm. And you ignore them and you forget about them. That's just how it goes. Yeah. When I was there, and I'm going to be, I'm going to tell you, this is the honest truth, 100%. Mm -hmm. When I was there, I felt more racism from the blacks mm -hmm. than from the whites. Mm -hmm. No. But from the blacks, it was uh, out of ignorance mm -hmm. because you know they they they've been fed this image on TV. Mm -hmm. Sokoro, unahepa. 
Okay. They've been fed this image on TV, right? Mm -hmm. That, you know, if you come from Africa, Africans are savages, Africans are, uh, you know, like we live in caves, we, live in, we walk around uh, half naked or whatever. Mm -hmm. So now these blacks, that's what they were thinking. Mm -hmm. So they didn't really want to, because they thought, they thought they were better than the Africans, uh, right? Yeah. Same thing happens in Cape Town. Exactly. But, but once they got to know you, or once you get to know them, you realize that they truly, they truly love Africa. They truly mm. love Africans. Mm. They, 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 they want to feel that connection mm. with Africans because they know we are brothers and sisters, although yeah. we are from separate countries. Mm -hmm. Now let's go back. It's to like the uh, a brother from a, another, another mother, mother yes. or a sister from uh, uh, exactly. Yeah. Now if you go exactly. to the world, to listen to the to the white people, mm. they are actually more. They were more accommodating because. For, to them, you know, they judge you by who you are, not your, not your, your skin, skin color. Yeah. Okay, obviously, you have some who will judge you because of your skin color. Those are the racists or whatever. And remember, racism mm. could also be from the black. So don't think it's just the whites. Yeah. But majority of the, in the U.S. or even in Europe, let's even talk about Europe. If you go there and you you who you are as a person. Is it will determine the kind of the kind of uh, reception or the kind of way that people will treat you. If you're if you're an asshole, okay, you can beep that. <laughs> but if you if you're yeah. like a funny person, mm -hmm. obviously whether you are there or you are here, it will be the same situation. Mm -hmm. If you're a outgoing person like you, you know, you love to travel and things like that. You go there, you'll meet other like-minded people. Mm -hmm. Now all of a sudden you'll be traveling to let's say. Alaska, you'll be traveling to other to the Grand Canyon, you'll be traveling to Mexico, mm -hmm. you'll be traveling because there's other people because it's you know like minded people get mm -hmm. along. Yeah. It doesn't matter your what your background is. Mm -hmm. You like to travel, the people right now on Marge's channel mm -hmm. who love to travel. Mm -hmm. And please reach out to her, I either through Marja or to, through her channel. Yeah. They want to travel to explore. Yeah. And that's what brings people together is what what do you guys what do we have in common mm -hmm. yeah? if you like football for example some of the best players in in, in football have african background yeah. when they're playing for manchester united or they're playing for uh, paris saint germain or chelsea or whatever do those people think they're like, oh, that's an African? No, they they say that's a Chelsea mm. player. Mm. Chelsea player. Uh, exactly. Me as a Chelsea fan, me I know me my colors and are white and thank blue. Thank you, thank you for that. Thank you for that. Let me yes. cut it short uh, a bit. Like you know, even what you have talked is a uh, big sense also to me and to my romance here, like uh, YouTubers. Yes. You know, don't see someone as your enemy. Exactly. See him as a fellow YouTuber. Yes. Yeah. Don't uh, like talk bad about him. Like these guys. Like this. It's what you brought up. Like uh, it's exactly. like a team. Yeah, because you. It's a team. Yeah. No, at like, the, look, in a team, everyone brings something different. No yeah. one. Not everyone can be an attacker. Not everyone yeah. can be a goalkeeper. Yeah. But exactly. at the end of the day, the whole team become strong, strong, yeah. Yeah. and and that's the problem. As you said, in uh, with a lot of these YouTubers, is there's a lot of I don't know if it's envy or I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. you, you're not something. You're not supporting each other. Mm -hmm. You have to support each other because look, you never know YouTube. Okay, and, and I know my facts might be wrong, mm -hmm. and when I say wrong, that means I'm wrong by I'm actually lower. But I know in a day, over. Two billion people tune, tune into YouTube. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two billion people yeah. per day. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about per year, per day. If people here got together and you know you guys, you know you you creating great content like what you are, you and her are doing, huh? then you know it's gonna. It's not look. If 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 something good happens to you because of your content and because of your channel, mm -hmm. it's gonna open doors for mm -hmm. one or two other people, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And it goes like that, and it spreads, and that's how it's supposed to be. But when there's this friction, there's this friction, this envy, this jealousy, mm -hmm. and this backbiting, then guess what? 
those are the people that you ignore and it's like racism mm. those ones are the people that are racist you ignore them because mm. guess what not everyone is great. Uh, one uh, out of ten people maybe three are racist mm. that means there's seven people that are not would you rather concentrate on the three or the seven? Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. So me, seven. I think. Uh, yeah. Hmm? What do you think about that? Like, hmm. I think I think it's the truth. Like we need to to get together. Yeah. You know, YouTube YouTube has many viewers. You yeah. know, everybody has a chance. Yeah. It's and a big anyone, thing. Yeah. Anyone yeah. can get out there and do even better than those who think they're doing yeah. better. Yeah. Exactly. So I think it's just a matter of just helping each other, being together. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. I remember there was a time we used to visit each other every single mm-hmm. day. You remember? I remember. We used to have a lot of people here, <laughs> then we used to have a lot of people. You the come here, there's there. like 15 people. 15 people, yeah. you go there, 15 yeah. people, you go no, there. People yeah, are... but, uh, but I really believe we just have few people who have just come and trying to corner corner. Mm-hmm. But I really believe the people who we were like at uh, that time. Do you think like I'm trying to corner corner? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you, you always came. We, we have never you, you been trying to corner corner. I'll tell you. You think I'm trying to corner corner? You, uh, you, uh, you know? No, let me tell you why she's trying to corner corner. Yeah. Because you said she's, she's a village, village cook, right? Yeah. She was a, a channel was a village cook, right? Mm. <laughs> and I've never tasted the food. Yeah. <laughs> so I've she. Been so I think well, now once right I right found out that she's she's an excellent chef, she's decided no more cooking for us to travel. <laughs> that is nah. a lot. But I think that can for you me, be the village cook for at least one one <laughs> one for one week so we can taste what you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Of mm. course, I have I have cooking channel. I have mm. a traveling channel. So yeah. it, it can still also, work. Also, there's, there's two of them. Yeah, there's two of them. So it Maybe can still work. I want both. I want the cooking channel first because mm. I love to eat. <laughs> And then they travel and uh, give me tips. What would you, you want to eat? Uh, like surprises. You just surprise. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you say okay, mm-hmm. we do a cookie. You do a cha- of a, What is a your favorite video of that year? What is your favorite? Oh my goodness! Mm-hmm. What's my favorite? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll tell you what I don't like. Mm-hmm. And uh, you guys would be mad, but uh, I'll tell you, it's, it's a fact. Mm-hmm. Me don't like ugali. Ah. I don't like ugali. <laughs> I think it has no nutritional value. It is tasteless. I don't like it. Yeah. Now, the brown one, mm. on the other hand, the one from uh, millet Pink and sorghum, mm. I love it because mm. that's healthy. Mm. So whatever you do, mm. ugali, <laughs> you can cook anything. Maybe rice. No, it doesn't even have, just anything. Yeah. I just said what I like. That means I like everything else. Oh. And I don't like, uh, uh, okay, I like seafood, but I don't like shrimp, I don't mm. like prawns. But if you do like uh, octopus, calamari, or fish. I think those ones you can only get them at the coastal side. Ah, uh, no, you get them in Mwanza. <laughs> ah, Mwanza is far. Oh, Mwanza is far. <laughs> Mwanza is far from here. Yeah. Okay, chapati then. Chapati, chapati. is good. Maybe chapati. Choma. I think she's good at uh, maybe mm, chicha. meat and uh, veggies. No, you don't know what she's good at. Don't say <laughs> I know. <laughs> because um, she'll I'm, tell you what she's good at. <laughs> yeah, tell us. But for me, what, what I know, she's like? Uh, what I like mm. when she cooks, mm. it's uh, uh, the meat, the veggies. You know? Yeah. Hi. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Top notch. Mm-hmm. But I've heard a lot about you. Mm-hmm. I heard like. Your food is amazing. Yeah, even my mom was like, ah. <laughs> thank yeah. you, thank uh, you. You know, the last time I think uh, it was my mom's birthday. Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. She my was here birthday. cooking. Yeah. Uh, the birthday is coming on Again. 20th. This month. Next month. Next oh, month. Oh, nice. Yeah. Are you going to be around? <laughs> I think I will be. I uh, hopefully. Oh, mm-hmm. next month, 20th. Mm. Oh, next month, in yes. December. <laughs> yeah. That's your mom's birthday. Yes. yes. Well, mine's on 25th of this month, so that's Ooh. how many days? Five days. So, mm. you, so you better start planning a menu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, just give me the the cash for the budget. Ah, listen, <laughs> you come no, up with the, you you come just up with the come, menu. The budget is there. The budget is there. You just come up with the menu. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, we even have uh, two goods. But you know, I think I understand what she said. Because uh, it depends. Is she cooking for five, for ten? For slot. I've cooked for more than... 
30 people in, in 30 days. Yeah. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, exactly. 30 people every day for 30 every days. Day yes, for imagine, 30 days. imagine. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Hey, yeah. I salute you. I'm a living testimony. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I salute you. Yes. Thank ah. you so much. Yeah, so guys, I'm um, really, uh, I, I can say I'm privileged to have like a uh, uh, tea traveler here. Thank you so much for coming. Mm-hmm. And my cousin here, Leo, thank you so much for being there for me. We have, by the way, um, docu series yes. with him, which we will be doing uh, maybe uh, in a week, maybe twice, yeah? Twice in a week, twice yeah? A week, yeah. Twice a week, Twice a week. Uh, you guys keep on tuned. We will be hearing more stories. Mm-hmm. You you just have the small stories. He's just yeah. trying to tell. Yeah, there's a what lot. Did you learn? There's a lot to talk about. Yeah. One thing I learned is never judge a country yeah. with yeah. what you see online. Like you know, if me as an African, yes. I hear something about America like the gun violence. America is big. It's like mm. it's it's a, a whole continent in itself. So. You, we cannot, you know, judge a country. You cannot judge Africa. Oops, sorry, Mama. Sorry. Hey, watch and you, can be watch you cannot judge Africa, but by what you see online, like yeah. maybe we live in, we, yeah. we dress half clothes or what. Yeah. Africa is big and it's like diverse. There's places like Dar es Salaam, Nairobi. Then amazing. there's places like Nyabohanze, you know. Amazing, so, gorgeous. This is like paradise. Yeah, so yeah. America is the same way. So there's a lot of lessons learned here. Then, yeah. um, the only thing I want to do and I want to say in this Majors channel is that, uh, you know, there's a lot that have happened that some of the viewers know <laughs> from the from the past and everything. I just want to say, like, uh, the plan is just to be positive, like Maja is trying to, you know, put us in that positive space. Amen. He's, he's mm-hmm. trying so hard to, to put us all in a positive uh, space. If I'm dark, it's because the light is not here. <laughs> so I mean, no. You come like, you yeah, come like this. Yeah. But yeah, the, the thing is, Maja is trying to, you know, pull pull us to, to be in that neg- uh, positive space and leave all the negativity. And that's the plan for this uh, village. And hopefully all of us will know, we'll go back to those days yeah. when everybody was coming here, people just meeting up and everything. So yeah, stay tuned and visit my channel, African Tea Travels. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much for the support. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you guys, uh, I really believe you have heard from African T. She's amazing, doing great work, and uh, very silent. And uh, you never know the moves <laughs> that she makes. Yeah, and I really love that because you will never know the moves. Yeah. You know. But uh, I think for me, you always know my move. Yeah. You see, you always know my move. And I think people are different yeah. because for me, I really love to be transparent and mm-hmm. show what I'm, I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys can give us advices and everything. And the most important thing, guys, uh, comment and give us good advices. So don't just see a small mistake. Then yeah. you start judging. Yeah. Correct. Oh, it don't affected judge. me so much. Yeah. Those comments mean. Yeah, you just correct, don't judge. Yeah. <laughs> correct. Yeah. And uh, someone judge. will know. Yeah. Uh, like, even for me, when I see T, like, you're wrong, I will call T and tell her, oh, no. this something that is wrong. Bad. That is bad. Yeah. And she'll tell me, oh, you think it's bad? Yeah. Oh, I will change. That is the way we have to live. Like, even my brother here, when he sees, like, I'm, I'm wrong, he will tell me, Hey, Maja, you are doing something wrong. Mm-hmm. I'll tell him. Uh, maybe you ask him, like, bro, what wrong have I done? Yes, like, I didn't like this, or I didn't like this video the way you did it. Then I will say, oh, uh, okay, let me see the mistake. Then I correct myself. But please, 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 uh, don't judge. <laughs> Let's correct. Is that right? It bro? is right. Uh, yeah. 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 So, Thank guys, you. I'm really privileged to have uh, this uh, beautiful uh, guests. Mm-hmm. Of course, they are not even guests. She has <laughs> good you beautiful her. nigga? Uh, <laughs> you said guests? No. <laughs> not guests. You said <laughs> the beautiful, gorgeous <laughs> yeah. guest. Yes. And your brother. And my brother. Yeah. <laughs> so, my brother here. Yeah. Hey, you see, correction. Uh, it's just, just kidding, man. Yeah, I yeah. know what it meant. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I'm really happy. You guys, uh, thank you so much. And uh, keep on watching our videos. Support T. Yeah. And uh, 
Yeah. I hope you are not traveling soon. Because we have, Who knows, we have know, things planned. We that. might be in Asia tomorrow, so you know. Hey! <laughs> you don't plan. <laughs> I'm manifesting. I'm manifesting. Hey! <laughs> Kuala Lumpur, we are coming. Yes, huh? Even me, I'm coming. We are coming, Kuala Lumpur. Even hey, Bangkok, coming. Thailand. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, I, only, I only need like two two thousand five hundred dollars to to travel in six countries in hey. Asia. Wow. Please, even me. Two thousand five hundred dollars. Yeah, we need yeah. to work hard nah, together. she needs twenty five thousand dollars. Yeah, to make a really good tour. You start tour. with what you have. We, we, yeah, no. I will not have twenty five thousand. We wanted to go 000. up to Mount Everest. To go, I mean, to go to where is Mount Everest, by the way? If I wait for twenty five thousand, is it is in Nepal? Nepal. Uh, Nepal. Nepal. Exactly. Yeah, yeah in Nepal. The Malayas, yeah. Oh, so we'll. If we I wait for twenty five thousand, I will not go. I'll start with the little one I have, then, then it will who knows, accumulate. You know? Some of you can, you know, words. bless me. I'm just joking. Yeah. This is slow, yeah, but steady. Come. This you is slow, know. but steady wins the race. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, guys, uh, it was a great conversation. I really, uh, I really mm. loved it so much because, uh, as you know, Maj underscore KE is mm. always here to uh, support and uh, also educate and also show a good way and also to preach positivity mm -hmm. and please peace. support his channel man yeah, support his channel we are road to 20,000 guys uh -huh. we are waiting to uh -huh. for we like need to the go video. to 20,000 subscribers in yeah. two weeks exactly thank yeah. you so much bro my big bro here just say it guys like the video tell a neighbor to tell a neighbor tell a, tell a friend to tell another friend mm. Yeah, to subscribe yeah. to our channels, guys, yeah. so that we can grow and educate you more about uh, our village and uh, other places traveling. Yeah, being positive, showing you what you have never seen on the screens, guys. So this is Maj underscore KE. They call me the one and only village Buga. They say, watch the space. Until yeah, yeah, the yeah, next yeah. video, peace and love. Adios.